and welcome to the Samira show. Today we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a talk show, and show, sports show, and gossip show. So today we have two wonderful guests that are not only going to be a guest today, they're going to be a co-host of the Samira show. So we're going to get together and gossip and introduce them. Here we have <laughs> Tamara Henry and Rita Gray. Welcome to Samira show. Please introduce yourself. Well, I'm Tamara Henry. Um, I live in Venice Beach. I work in Santa Monica on the local news station, and I'm so excited to be here on your show, Samira. That's not good and enough. Uh -uh. I'm going to go back and introduce her myself. That was not a good introducer. What? No, Tamara Henry, who is a beautiful former beauty queen, is a film producer. She, she has made an inspirational um, documentary. She was on the Oscar um, shortlist, won an award. And she's also a producer for Unbeaten, who was in um, Time Magazine as the named top 10 Olympic films of the old times in 2012. Mm -hmm. And um, you have been in many, many televisions, one in Santa Monica, local mm -hmm. channel 16. Mm -hmm. You have your own um, documentary as well. And then you're also the co-founder, creator of Vanilla Fire Production. Mm -hmm. She has been on Bravo, Animal Planet, Tonight Show, Access Hollywood, E! Style Network, she walks the red carpet. She's one of the most beautiful people, all fashionable, who walks the red carpet like the Night of the Hundred Stars, which is mm -hmm. one of the biggest. And we're going to show the video of that. You like wow. It? Okay. You did so much better than and I And there's I so said. much I'm gonna more I'm going to take her. you with me every time I'm on a show to introduce you. <laughs> yourself. And then um, I'll introduce you, and then you introduce yourself. <laughs> she, Rita Gray, is an amazing woman, amazing energy. She is the NBC's hit series. She's with um, Betty Weiss of the Rockers, who, which is on Channel 4. And they, it is the funniest, cutest <laughs> show. Rita Gray, please introduce yourself and tell me the most. Well, she's already said everything <laughs> what's left to be said. <laughs> she's very good. No, I, I work with Betty White on Betty White's Off the Rockers, which is just fabulous. Betty is not only a co-worker, she's my boss. She's a great boss. I love working on the show. I'm about to work on a movie called Hidden Valley, The Awakening. It's going to be a werewolf thriller. Oh, oh. how exciting. And the book comes out on June 1st. <laughs> We're going to have the whole crew here as well. That'll be wonderful. Yes, it's yes. all these very young boys. That's I'm wonderful. surrounded by young boys with no shirts on. What can I tell you? That's <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I love red carpets, too. Yeah, and you meet such wonderful people. Um, uh, Rita, what was I going to tell you? You, the movie, w the TV show, uh, After Rockers, was about pranking the young people. Young people. It's true. We pull pranks on young people for years. Young people try to get over on older people, so we get even. And you guys are a lot wiser. And it's a very funny show. <laughs> so it got picked up by NBC. Well, we're waiting to find out if we're getting picked up for our third season. But you were. I saw you like a while ago. Uh, they At first they said yes, but they didn't announce no, us officially. No, but just a few months ago I saw you on Channel 4. Oh, no. The show is is yeah. currently airing. Okay, okay. But we're trying to get picked up for but our third season. She wants more. So you she wants more. Never yes. is enough. Okay, <laughs> you okay. could call NBC right, <laughs> Facebook. Quality. Everybody Quality. call NBC, NBC and say, say we, we want want Lisa yes. and I guess for the third and you're still running though I mean people put it on when is it on it's right now we don't have a permanent time slot we okay, just kind of fill going. in for stuff let's go watch the reel and come back everyone okay. we really have to think about our health. Doctors say a glass of wine a day can extend your life. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Looks like we're going to live forever. <laughs> That wine, <laughs> wine glass. That's I huge. know. Everybody wants to know that. I don't know where they got it, but it, it held an entire magnum of wine. So it's like, okay. that's wine for the day. Mm. There's wow. no wine in here, just coffee. Oh. Just the coffee. Uh, that's from, my uh, choice. Samira shows. <laughs> Samira shows coffee. Cheers. Coffee in the morning. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. to you too. Cheers. Cheers to you too. Thank you. Thank mm. you. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> 
Tamara, when did you win the Beauty Queen and how did your life change after you won it? I won Miss Arkansas USA back in 1997. Okay. And it, it did change my life. It The process was kind of like competing in the Olympics. Okay. It's a huge one. It was a big one. Yeah, the state competition. So I competed in the Miss Arkansas America system four times, got top ten twice. I had a talent. I sang Barbara Streisand tunes, like Funny Girl, Let's Hear It For Me. Then I switched over to Miss Arkansas USA. I won it right away, so I got to go right on to Miss USA. And that was the time when Allie Landry was giving up her crown. You know, the Doritos girl. <laughs> You know, she does okay. the flips and she eats the Doritos. And, um, but she's a mom nowadays. And, um, and, uh, so she almost would have crowned me Miss USA, but I got sixth place in swimsuit competition That's and wonderful. 12th place overall. And so it did. It, uh, it helped me fund my broadcast journalism degree, okay. which I've still been using every day of my life doing all this television. And but you've been on many televisions. You're doing many good. television shows. I've done a lot of news. I've done a lot of fun reality TV shows. And um, and last year, or this current year, last year, last summer, my uh, local LA TV show Metro Motion got a Los Angeles area Emmy nomination. So okay. if you're Miss Primetime Emmys, this is local <laughs> Emmy. So this is That's Emmy wonderful. show today. We've got the Emmy magic going on. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> tell me about tell me about your production as well. My production yeah, uh, company, that, my, yeah. my documentary yeah. production company is called Vanilla Fire. That was born in 2007. Okay. And it's a company that produces inspirational documentaries. Wow. So people are like, what is Vanilla Fire? It's kind of like two of my passions. Vanilla is like the vanilla latte, the caffeine oh, that gets me so going. Cute. <laughs> and um, Fire actually came from a cat, a beautiful Himalayan cat that I had named Sir Kendall's Fire. And so Kendall's Fire... When you he passed away, camera. it was so crazy because out came the Kindle fire, you know, the, the thing that you read your books on. And I was like, oh, my God, oh. my cat's been reincarnated into technology. They will always be with us. But anyway, so it's like, you know, the yin and the yang of the sweet passion, vanilla fire. And we do inspirational documentaries from military documentaries to Olympic documentaries. Uh, we've had Ed Harris narrate one of them. Kelsey Grammer narrated one. John Savage narrated another. And uh, so we're just... We keep telling the American narrative at the highest order. Wow. If you had to work with a producer one by one, who would you pick? Oh, Steven Spielberg. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about you? If I had to work with a producer, I would have to work with, actually, it's a director, director Steven C. Barber. Okay. He put this ring on my finger. We're engaged. But anyway. Oh! <laughs> Well, you are oh, working with him. I am working with him. And <laughs> oh, congratulations. I know Let's where my bread TV. is buttered. So, so. You, are, are you having like a wedding reality TV I'm, or something? I'm open to that. Um, actually, it's kind of funny. You know, we've kind of... When is your wedding? We've seek, Well, you know what? It, it might be really soon. We don't have an exact date pinned down yet. How about we have a reality wedding here? We have photographers. <laughs> we get the limousine. We get all that. The makeup. Would you all like to have... It. To, all you, of it. All of it. Synchronized like swimmers, have, air show. Wait, now, are, are you going to be a bridezilla? Is this um, going to be a problem? You know what? I kind of auditioned for that, and so we I have didn't a, quite we make have the a... cut. <laughs> Two months, we but have you know to what? here, okay? The process of that let <laughs> my inner through. demon out, and I did find my dark side. Oh, oh my. You did. So now, you, I know you do all this fashion stuff. Show me oh, about wait, the Wait, before we go is... there, though, okay. can, I, can we just talk yes. a little bit more about the pageants? Okay, because is there I, something you want to know? You, well, yeah, because I think pageants <laughs> get a bad rap, you know? They do. And I you want sound a pageant, like, too. Well, see, we have two beauty queens with us I today. Right, thank you. And <laughs> yeah, I, they always want to, you know, knock right. the, the pageants They're as being sexist. Jealous. They're jealous. They're I'm jealous. 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 <laughs> That's a lie. I'm jealous. I've never been Come with on. anybody. If you had a body <laughs> like that, you'd want to get up on stage show and us, show us. Absolutely. You want to get up on stage Okay. Yes, I've been, well, this is my leftover body queen, body queen, beauty queen body, and I've been keeping it up with a little bit of yoga. How much do you exercise? I've got the J-Lo booty. Woo! <laughs> I, um, a little padunk dunk there. <laughs> padunk dunk Yes, um, I go to yoga once a week okay. in Brentwood, and um, and I rollerblade on the beach every day, and oh, I, do? I watch beautiful. what I eat, and it's real wow. low maintenance now. What is, what do you eat? So I eat superfoods. Like you just read the magazines when you read about the superfoods. Everything I buy and put in my kitchen is superfoods and you can't go wrong. Okay. So that's it. What do you think about that? I don't follow anything. 
I'm jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> I want to be. I want to eat superfoods, but I like chocolate. Me too. I and like cacao. cacao. Like there, yeah, anything that you like, there's like a superfood alternative. There's oh, a right. right way to eat it. Even cornbread. There's what is a right for way bread to and eat rice? It, you know. What's the superfood for bread and rice? Well, you know what? Bread and rice. I have to substitute my bread and rice with things like chia seeds and flax seeds mm -hmm. and hemp seeds. It's more seeds. It's about the seeds, and in the seed is the super nutrients. Okay. When the bread is all big and fluffy, it really doesn't have a lot of nutrients. Okay. How about so, your skin? What do you do with your skin? With my skin, once again, it's about not eating. Because you know, if I eat some bad foods, it comes out my face. And I know yeah. what I've been eating by looking at my face. So food is very important. Yeah. So, you know, get a big old blueberry smoothie, you know, some coconut oil, good avocado. I've thing. got coconut oil. Yeah, I bought coconut yeah, oil yeah. a week ago. So you put the coconut oil in your... I put it on my face. Well, you put it in your body. You can. You and, can put and it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you can put it in your hair. You can also... You can I have your cat and your dog. dog. They love it, too. It's it good, good for them. Hair. I put it in my I hair. I put it in my hair. I heard you can even clean your dashboard with it. You can do anything <laughs> yeah. with coconut oil. <laughs> You're so funny. Coconut oil is good for your skin and hair. So show me some of the fun stuff. Okay, Let's so I brought... She, when I got here, she told me I was a fashion icon. And I was like, okay, I love the way you dress. how does she know? Fun. And so I brought an alternate outfit for today because, you know, when, you, when you're going to go be on television, you might want to wear something else. And this really looks like you because you're very shiny oh, and glittery. I love bling bling. I so love this it. is kind of like, an, you know, this is a blingy kind of coolery type of outfit. Who is this? Let's see who this is. This is uh, Michael Kors. Michael Kors. So oh, that's beautiful. This and, is and nice. And you've got your sequins going on. And oh, I love the bling so bling. So that was an alternate outfit for today. And, uh, That's nice. Yeah. It is nice. Here, you try it. You try it. It would look good on you. I, it would look good on my what thigh. Else? It would look good on all of us. Like on, <laughs> <laughs> on one leg. And then, what else? So I have a, okay, great. this is like a huge day for me today. Like I have three things going on. I'm doing a show, and then I'm going to an audition. And on my audition, I'm going to wear this oh, Valentino wow. red number. And it's bright. It's kind of Get a out, light us, pink color. Us. It's kind of a light pink color, and it's kind of got a little clown uh, thing here. And it's real feminine. You know, it's like... You know, kind of a feminine thing to wear. So that's like my, that's Let for my see. audition. You want to try it? Yeah. Can I try it on air? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What else? What and else? Uh, and then okay. So that's my audition. Oh, and I then love tonight. Toys. Tonight I'm going to a red carpet for Heal the Bay. I love the ocean. Oh, I love this color. And this is like a Heal the Bay type of outfit, and it's keying oh, out. So actually, oh. I love the way it's keying out because I can imagine like it look you could be like nude under there or something. It's very <laughs> oh, sexy. That's true. Yeah, it's I know. It's very blue, sexy. So it's yeah, but anyway, so it's the parts where the gold is keying out, but it's blue and so I just That's beautiful. That's, oh, I love that. That's beautiful turquoise. It's like Persians the invisible man. But anyway, so I'm going to heal the bay tonight, bring back the beach. And this actually is, let me tell you, there's a story behind this dress. I actually got this when I was on a reality show on RuPaul's Drag You. And I, I did a, I won the ex beauty queen. Speaking of beauty queen, they had an ex beauty queen episode, and so part of the deal was that we got to take home some clothes. And this is what brand is this? We gotta find out. I think. What's it's your a, favorite brand? My favorite brand. Okay, this is an Aiden Maddox. I like Michael Kors bag. Aiden Maddox. Very nice too. Oh, and then right now I'm wearing Romeo and Juliet Couture. Oh, you and, are. But my favorite brand. Let me tell you about a brand that you have to check out. It's called Tony Bowles. T O N Y B O W L S. He actually designed specifically for me my Miss Arkansas dress and my Miss USA dress, oh, and wow. he does gowns he, that you nice. can wear on the red carpet. So show me your shoes Bowles. too. Shoes, shoes. Okay, shoes. so shoes. So right now, okay, look at these cork shoes I'm wearing. Oh, that's these I are can't cork. wear high heels. Can you? No. I love platform shoes. I'm crazy. Okay, after you wear platform shoes, how can you go back to shoes? that are on the ground. It's like, I can't go back. See, I can't wear high heels. So what are the alternatives for that? So, I don't know, but I, but a, a smart girl no always has her flip-flops in her bag because okay. after so do I, that's what I two know. hours of platform shoes, you're gonna wish you had these to walk home in. So oh, always, yeah. and they're easy to oh, fit in your bag. Oh, they go together, let me yeah, see. I was gonna say, they go together so well, Animal right? is always like a staple. Absolutely. But please, ladies, have a pair of flip-flops in your bags at all time to save your puppies. And um, if you're feeling bright and cheery, these are some really cute heels. Oh, this is great for the summer, and they I go know. together, right? So, you know, this would go if you need a splash of color to pick anything up. So there's those. And then, of course, every girl, I bet, I bet all of you have your Seriously. staple. No, 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 no. New color <laughs> shoes. Also, no, right? 
right? Nude color. Nude, nude not color. Not the heels. heels. Not the heels. Everybody just goes with either. everything. I, I love just the way I can wear And the cutest, again, these are really cute and oh, stylish. Oh, I love that. Look at that's, these, are little so wedgies. Sexy. That's nice. They're little wedgies. What's um, the best They're XOXO. You know, I, I'm a big garage sale shopper, but the one thing that oh, I have so found cute. is you can't really get shoes at garage sales because right. by the time your shoes, they're, you know, you can get clothes at garage sales, but okay. shoes are kind of worn out. So, you know, I don't know. We'll, let's find out. Where's okay. a good place to go shoe shopping? But Salvation Army in Let's Santa see. Monica have good for shoes cl for clothes. For clothes, right? For clothes. Right. Oh yeah, tags, I go in there all the time. Tags on. Just go in there with twenty place. bucks, come out with a new wardrobe. It's so fun. <laughs> They've got a new song yeah, called so cute. called Thrift Store, <laughs> and and the guy sings, "I'm gonna pop some tags." I love that. <laughs> I love that song. In, in my, my pocket. pocket. Didn't know we know this, did you? <laughs> I love that song. I love that song. $20 in that's my pocket. That's cute. That's cute. So that's where your shop. That's I get wonderful. my shoes, though, It's and I can't even think of the name of it. It's a little shop in Beverly Hills. Okay. And I get them. I've got these shoes. Okay. I can get them off. I like the bling bling. Your shoes Here, stick your light in the arrow. I did. Oh, oh, my shoes. <laughs> and I love beauty <gasps> feel. Oh, oh, now right, those like go with that, that too. So this nice. is kind of a goes with everything, kind of an animal print. And okay. very comfortable. Beauty feel shoes Princess are heel. wonderful. I, that's that's a heel. I can do this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, me too. I can't do high heels. No. That's okay. cute. That's cute. Gotta get back in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> so when you go to the night of the hundred yeah. stars, like. What do you decide? How do you know which one is good, which one is not? Oh, well, lately to the night of 100 stars, I have been wearing Giovanni. Giovanni, so, that's a famous brand. Giovanni is a lot like Tony Bowles. Yeah. And I love wearing Tony Bowles because he's close to my heart and I know him personally. But Giovanni's been really good to me. Actually, I've become obsessed about a dress. If you look at the night of 100 stars, I wore the exact same dress in white that I wore to the, day to the um, local Emmys in gray. I mean, I loved this dress so much that I wore it in two different colors. You look so. great at the Emmys, and you wore my jewelry at the Emmys. I wore your jewelry. It was lovely at <laughs> the Emmys, you. at the primetime Emmys. We're show some of the pictures of, of you wearing the jewelry, and, and that was one of your good events. It was. Betty White was nominated for Outstanding Host on a reality show, so I got to go to the Emmys, and it was wonderful. I got to wear your beautiful jewelry. Thank you, thank you. Ishun jewelry, I was the Emmys, and I was on social media, and I was on this um, is one of your pieces. Yeah, I know. We're all wearing it now. You jewelry. have to put on the red carpet. More, more, more. Um, I'm going to a couple this, this weekend. We'll have to yes, talk. We have <laughs> to talk. Um, we're going to show uh, the red carpet, 100 stars, which is, um, I mean, yes. all these photographers <laughs> love the night of the 100 stars. I don't know what it is. Everyone, we're going to the night of the star, and I'm going to the night of the 100 stars. I think it's just the after thing after the Oscars. It's like in Beverly Hills Hilton, mm -hmm. right? It's actually during the Oscars where people watch. Yes. And then you go to the after parties afterwards. But yes. this is the place where this the is, stars come and sit down, it's really eat a five-course meal. Yeah. The red carpet. It's like five hundred dollars. All access to stars, person, right? You can, yeah. And it's, this is like Hollywood royalty. Oh, it's yeah. not Old like the Hollywood new stars. Glamour. Yeah, it's, yeah, the, it's the older stars. Oh, I like Hollywood that. Glamour. And who puts it on? Richard, Norby, Walters Norby Walters and Ed Losey's the publicist for this event, and I've been going. I think next year will be my tenth year. Oh wow! Magic so we're gonna there. show and tell me some gossip about the different stars and who you think were wearing the clothes. I went last year to the United Nations, which was really really nice too. That was in a mansion too. I think that's put on by. Um, that's a really nice one too. That's right next mm. to the Night of the Hundred Stars. So that night is just so so busy, and I think Night of mm -hmm. the Hundred Stars is one of the best. It is. Oscar night. It is. So let's go and uh, watch it. And, and I'm come Jeff Thisted. We're here live. Everybody, I'm Tamara Henry. And I'm Jeff Thisted. We're here live at Norby Walters' 22nd annual Night of 100 Stars at the legendary Beverly Hills Hotel in, you guessed it, Beverly Hills. Yes, we are live. We're coming to you a little bit early, but we are the Beverly Hills Courier broadcasting live on Fox News. We just couldn't step wait on to up get here started. on May 2nd. We're here. We're here. We want to talk to you. You're the first one out of the gate, so we want to talk a little bit about the Oscar race. What are your thoughts this year? I think we had some wonderful films to watch this year, some wonderful performances, some performances that were overlooked, I felt, but uh, we'll go with what we've got. All right. You had a baby last year. I had a baby. I just finished doing The Three Stooges, which comes out in the theaters in April. Uh, you know. I'm happy. Everything is good in my life. Now, I'm happy. happy because The Three Stooges is coming out. I mean, yeah, I love funny. comedy. Yes, what did you I. play on there? I played one of the, the Fairley brothers. Live on foxnews.com and beverlyhillscourier.com. Gloria and I go way back. That's right, we do. And he is a genius. Love he over is a legend. Every week, 
uh, online, 24 million page views at bhcourier.com. And we are one of the largest media outlets in Los Angeles. And we are bigger than the Los Angeles Times on the west side. And we have more Voting Academy members reading our newspaper than any other publication on a regular basis. Now that's exciting. And I know that your paper goes right to the doorstep of all What's the it like when you won your Beverly Hills? The year I won it, uh, 19. I won it in 95 for 94. But it was my third nomination, so it was about time. <laughs> a little bit nerve wracking there, huh? Well, not really. <laughs> But you got it. You finally, you did it. But he still has to get back to the best actor. He still has to get that. But twice. Also, so. Oh, really? I want to make some fat stacks. Fat <laughs> yo, stacks. this is dope. Fat stacks, yo. Getting to interview you. Wow, I that's met the you. thing, yeah. Wait a minute. I met you at the Independent Spirit Awards yesterday. Do you remember meeting me? Yes, you were in feathers. Yes. You had, you had, you were like dangly feathers. What is going to be, okay, everybody wants to know, how can Breaking Bad get any better on season five? It doesn't get better, it gets badder. Oh, we've got Richard Dreyfus with us. We're having so much fun. I'm glad you're here. It's like, I feel like I know you because I've seen you in so many iconic movies, like Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So I feel like you're part of our family here at the Night of 100 Stars. Do you feel like part of our family? No, that's what's really Twilight Zone about this whole thing. Yeah? Yeah, people know me and I don't know them and, and it's weird. I've often wondered how you deal with that when everybody knows you, you and loves you. You say thank you. And you just go, yeah, 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 no, right? No, you just say thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know? thanks for the love, right? It's strange people or strangers come up to you on the street and say thank you and neurosurgeons they don't say that to their their divorce lawyers or their rabbis they say it to actors because we're the ones who give them surcease from sorrow you give them what surcease from sorrow ah oh, so it's some you're really a healing shaman then right i i'm an artist and i know and am humbled by the gift I can give you. Never better. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Thank you very much. Incredible home. I see you on the Celebrity Apprentice. I'm a geek and I TiVo Celebrity Apprentice, so when I get home tonight, I'm going to watch it. What's it like being on the Celebrity Apprentice? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Tonight's going to be a lot of drama because what? after the first person fired, now I become the backstabbing circuit. And nobody wants to get pushed off the bus, so I have to use some of my Hulk powers. And I was taking the crowd from anybody, so now the ball gets rolling. It's been a great experience. I just got goosebumps. What, what do you mean you use your Hulk powers? What did you do? Did you, did you have to get rough with somebody, or what happened? Well, you know, sometimes people have a superior attitude. I want to get pushed around. People that, you know, they, they, they're macho, think that they underestimate me. So finally, I get a chance to show my honesty in the boardroom, and then it, it, it remains to be seen. Good for you. I can't wait to see it tonight. Oh, so, yeah. So you've been busy. Since you're Celebrity Apprentice, are you doing any features? You, the Avengers, I heard? Well, i got a great movie coming out called The Liberator. The Liberator. It's an action okay. movie. It's about a guy who was in the military. He was rejected, and he decided to blow the whistle, write a book. They want to kill him. So the combination... Wow. That was amazing. I know. That was, dream and here true. we have Michael Maccabee. Please introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I'm Michael Maccabee. I... I work with Samira on the show and uh, today we're going to talk about some of our red carpet events that uh, we attended. A uh, lot of, lot of fun. So we, <laughs> we went um, to a red carpet music award. We're going to show that. That was a lot of fun, which was put on by Al Bauman. We, we'll, we'll put it on yeah. Al Bauman. Al Woo! Bauman, yeah. And we're going to show that another time, like extensively, but today we're okay. just going to show a minute or two. Um, what were you, you, you were giving, you were up on stage for that too, mm -hmm. right? Helping to give out awards as a host and Red you're very, you're and... very involved with everybody. Everybody loves you. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Tell me some gossip. It pays about... to be a good Southern girl from the South. It, it is. It hard. is. And you too. Everywhere <laughs> red carpet, I go to everyone's hugging you, kissing you. That's good. It's it's good to be loved. Well, we just went to a red carpet together like a week ago, right? We did. I, I didn't put the video for that, but then it was with the Damien Letcher's son, who was part of this show as well. He's a producer of the Three Thousand Mile to Greston. I love the guy. Amazing. He's also going to be a little part of this show as well. And uh, what did you think about that event? That was really That was nice. the Agent 88 Agent event. 88. And we're going to bring the girl, My right? My friend Kay is uh, Agent 88. She's 80 years old. She does Tai Chi every day. And in the movie, she plays the world's most deadly assassin <laughs> with Alzheimer's disease. It's a, <laughs> it's a deadly combination. You know what? I would love to live long. 
What do you think is the secret of longevity? I think being happy. I think you, if you live your life and you're happy and you don't take life too seriously, that you live long. My grandmother lived to be 99 years old. She worked and drove her car until the day she died. She oh, just, you know, wow. and she wow. just enjoyed life. I have an aunt that just died last weekend and she was laughing and joking with her family up until 10 minutes mm. before she died. Wow. But she just had a happy life. So I, I think happy happiness is a key. Mm. And what do you energy. think is the, is the key to happiness? How do you become happy? What is important in life? I think knowing yourself and being true to yourself and mm -hmm. doing okay. what enjoys what you enjoy. Yeah. I How enjoy swimming with dolphins and sharks, so I, I do. I of that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So do you do that? I do. Where? The Bahamas. They don't let you do it too much in the United States. But we have pictures of her with the dolphins. Yeah. With the dolphins. They, oh. And I love swimming with sharks. Did Uncaged. you do that? Yeah. Okay. They throw the meat. Edge. They throw meat down on the bottom of the floor. So of a the little ocean. danger, right? We talked morning this morning uh, with Dr. Mazahari, and who's the owner of the television. He was saying that, um, yeah, you 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 have to uh, do, be content, be your. Right. What about you, Michael? No, it's, it's, uh, first I was going to ask her, she said she likes to do that. Is there something you want to do every week to swim with the sharks or just once in a while? If I could, I would. Really? Yeah, yeah, I like it I that love much. it. No, but uh, talking about it, I think you have to be happy with yourself, with what you do and who you are. Then you can be happy about the world and the work and all these things. But if you're not happy about yourself, nothing else really makes you happy. What's the most dangerous thing you've ever done? Me? Yeah. Danger? <laughs> mm. Mm. The pageants, yeah. that's dangerous. <laughs> it I is, hear those I, girls fight. I think, yeah, I think the most dangerous thing I've ever done is really taking a risk in, in my career. And the most dangerous thing I've ever done is to stop worrying about what the neighbors are going to think about me. Because when you mm -hmm. live your life, oh, I couldn't do that. I'm going to play it safe. And if you say, you know what? I'm going to jump into comedy. I'm going to do a reality show. I'm going to put a twist on things and I don't care what they think I'm having fun when you stop caring about what people think about but you this that's is, dangerous we're not gonna get into <laughs> this this too much into it just one or two word because this is too much controversy in the Persian community but you were telling Michael that uh, what's his name is one of the most famous right. Persian reality show right now mm -hmm. according to you not me because they're gonna <laughs> to me. Reza, I don't Reza. know, Reza. Reza, Reza, yeah. Okay, where did you come up with that? You know what, he, I... Reza, which is the shot, which is the lead role of Shots of Sunset. Yeah, and you know what, oh. I'm so excited that I got to meet him. He was, I saw him from across the room, and I was instantly attracted to him. His fashion sense, he had on this gingham shirt underneath his tuxedo, <laughs> and I thought, that's the way I want my man to dress. Why won't my man dress like that? I'm extremely attracted to gay guys for some reason. And, um... Not He's gay. I'm sure he's not, but he's crazy, <laughs> and I just love anybody who's unleashed their inner wildness, you know, and can own all of who they are. And um, so I got behind him in line at the New Now Next Awards when he was getting the most addictive reality TV star award. And I he was got talking the, to he him. Got what award did he get? The most addictive reality wow. TV star. Wow. Most addictive. And the I like that because I'm obsessive compulsive, and I was drawn to him immediately, like he was some kind of drug, and <laughs> I wanted him, you know. So who it was, was the award by? Um, it was the New Now Next Awards, which is Logo and VH1 and wow, all those guys. So, yeah, it's kind of like it was the sixth annual, I think, New Now Next Awards. And I was there because I had won the ex Beauty Queen episode of RuPaul's Drag You. So, of course, RuPaul oh, wow. was all up in the house. And he was talking about finding your frequency. So, I think I found my frequency. I was standing in line behind Reza. And they said, all right, go, you know. And all of a sudden, lights came on, cameras. And, and I found out that I was in the middle of this shot you know, out right outside the restrooms, yeah, the off the stage. And so I just stayed in line. All these drag queens started walking through. And I thought, well, I'm just going to follow them and walk through. <laughs> and I ended up doing kind of like a photo bomb or video bomb accidentally <laughs> behind Reza because he stopped to say something to the host. And so I was just like doing my thing, oh, you know, with my feather boa or whatever I had. And uh, magic happened. 
That's amazing. That's amazing. Does your fiance know about this? He does. He okay. Thinks we we support each other, and you know, like every in your time, fantasies, right? Yes, in our fantasy world, in a la la land. Every time we see each other, we're like, you're not going to believe what happened today. It's That's like, what? Nice something else exciting. So I know because you've got a TV hubby. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's always fun when you when you have a coupleship that supports one another in your dreams and yeah. you can play together and, that's and work a together and that's happiness right yeah. absolutely finding your playmate absolutely your playmate. i'm looking she, oh yeah she's I'm looking, looking. <laughs> anybody okay, what? what are you looking for what are you looking playmate? for in a, in i mean someone who likes to have fun requirement you must like to have tell fun. me a joke I don't do jokes. Oh, come I, on. You're I funny. Don't. I know I'm funny, but I don't do jokes. Okay, fine. So what are you looking for in a man? I'm looking for a You guy. might find one. Read the grace. Uh, I'm looking for a man. He must be over 25 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I am a cougar, and that's only because my oldest grandson is 25. I think they should How be How is Demi Moore's boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, like, like 20 years younger than her, right? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Why not, right? If you can handle it. If you can hang, you know. Well, you know. I'm, what can I say? And it could be an added bonus today because then you're talked about more in the media. And, and <laughs> men, you have to get somebody that's TMZ really will follow. TMZ and will and follow. men die earlier. So, you know. That's true. I'm, that's a good idea. I don't want to outlive my man, yeah. you know. So. But you don't know if it's because of the women they die earlier right. or they want to die earlier. Yeah, well, that's true. It's like, get me out of here. Uh, it would be nice if they have money because I am very high maintenance, so they need to be able to afford me. I, okay. You know, and um, what is your most expensive? What do you like to do the most? <laughs> is that Rolls Royce yours out there? <laughs> <laughs> travel, I travel. Oh. I love oh, to yeah. travel. Okay. I love to travel. So, I, and I love traveling first class. So, yeah, that's probably the most expensive thing I like to do. Uh, then I buy a lot of clothes okay. and a lot of shoes. So. Yeah, <laughs> and he, but mainly he needs to have a good sense of humor and likes to have fun, and it has to be at least easy on the eyes. Yeah, good looking. <laughs> good looking, twenty years younger, rich, just minor stuff. Yeah, just a little bit of everything. I don't, I don't have high expectations. By, by the way, she doesn't have a Rolls Royce. She came with a Fiat, a brand new Fiat. So the cute Fiat. It's true. It's lovely. Oh, have you seen have you seen the music video for Fiat? That's that's crazy. That we put it on last week. Now let's some real wedding that I read somewhere right right I'm working on that um, and so it's I can't really talk about it that's the weird thing about Hollywood is like you want to talk about what's exciting that's going on so kind of what I'm we doing would like right to now, have you uh, I can't uh, really talk about it but yes we're just talking about it a little bit but but but, but when you do <laughs> in a vague way in maybe a general when you, way when she decides share. to get married can we do a little wedding here sure, sure. we can do whatever you want okay. <laughs> bring the MC Hammer, right? yeah MC Hammer. He got he got married. One of our guests, yeah, uh, Susie uh, Feldman, Feldman was married. Susie Feldman, Corey Feldman, which they were yeah. uh, one of our guests, was married by MC Hammer on a reality wow. TV show. Yeah, we we put that on. She was here like a month ago, right? On my birthday. Oh yeah. well, I'm an ordained minister, so I'm I can serious. marry. She can do that. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh, no. <laughs> there we have a reality. We have a live photographer. We have what do we need? We have King Limo for the limousine. You just need to find two men. You just know, need a dress married. and a cake, and you're ready to go. That's we have cake too. We have cake. Okay. We have cake. Here Anybody we go. pop up a wedding dress? We oh, and you know what we might need? The, designers. the groom. That's what the I'm groom. saying. All these guys <laughs> run out. Or they no, all run out. She has a groom. Maybe yeah. she wants more than one. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a reality for the for the wedding part of it. Yeah. But that that that's a thing. So we're gonna go and show the music award red carpet and come back with our other guests and then you guys are gonna come back because we're yeah. gonna box each other. Are you guys ready for for some fighting? Fight. Some life, yeah. So we're gonna have um, professional boxers. They're gonna introduce themselves and um, they won many awards and they're gonna come. We're gonna introduce them first and then they're gonna come and show us some live introduction. Mm -hmm. We're gonna um, go show the music award, which is really fun and that was put on by Al Bauman. And the oh. next time we'll put on the yeah. whole thing, that will sing. Mwah. Bye. We're going to go and see it and come back in a few minutes.
really nice. That was an amazing award show um, put on by Alma and Tamara Henry was there too. She was a great, she was up on stage, she was there. So we're gonna go back again to Tamara Henry. We're not done, but here we have wonderful guests. Um, Kabir Soleimanov. Hi. Hi, welcome to Samira's show. Thank you. And uh, please introduce yourself and please introduce yourself. And you are a um, professional boxing champion, yeah. uh, NABO, right? NABO. NABO. Yeah. And we're going to show some of your stuff. Please yeah. introduce yourself. And you can also talk in different languages as well. I would love that. Uh, I'll talk English. <laughs> okay, talk in English, but you can also talk in Russian. Um, yeah, uh, I won. This is your also camera. Also, I won a Golden Glass. This yes. is Golden Glass, New York State Golden Glass. New York Golden Congratulations. I, thank you. It was in 2006, actually, a long time ago. And this one I won uh, in 2000. It's very heavy. Yeah, very heavy. Would you like to hold it and show our audience? Yeah, of course. Yeah. This is an ABO belt. Okay. It's, uh, I won it in 2010. And I should introduce myself. I'm from city Chelyabinsk, okay. that's in Russia. Uh, you remember a couple months ago the meteorites fell yes. from meteorites the sky? Meteorites came yeah. from yeah. the sky, yeah. It was so heavy to explain me from where I'm from, but now it's so easy. No, it's so the, that so meter, the huh? meteorite yeah, yeah. fell in Russia at the city of which Ch city? Chelyabinsk, and I have one piece of meteorite. Oh right my here. god, wow. This is one piece of meteorite. Oh wow. <laughs> so, um, uh, the, the meteorite fell in Russia, and that's where you're from. Yeah, and from that where did city. you get this from? Uh, my twin brother lives there now. I wish you brought uh, your twin brother. Does he look like you? I love yeah, twins. Yeah, exactly like me. <laughs> exactly like you. And wow, really nice. incredible. It looks like it gives you energy or something, yeah. right? Yeah. So, oh, wow. I want to talk really about your twin like brother. That's so cute because it says that um, you, guys, you guys went to a tournament. And you By the way, my one. friend looks like just like my twin brother. Yeah, yeah. He's a looks very like nice me. guy. You're gonna fight with him today, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Demonstration. Demonstration. No yeah. fight. No yeah. fighting is good. I like it. I'll join you too. Okay. Can I fight too? <laughs> sure. You have to teach okay. you. Okay. <laughs> you can so also say, say hi in, in Russian too. Tell Please talk to because they have Russian, Russian viewers. Russian a lot of Russian viewers. Too. Say it. Здравствуйте. Меня зовут Хабир Сулейманов. Я с города Челябинска. Уже давно живу здесь, в Лос-Анджелесе. Уже четыре года и четыре года жил в Нью-Йорке до этого. Очень рад э, быть здесь. And if you have Russian fans or family, you can say something to them too. Uh, to my family from yeah. Yeah. Я очень по вам скучаю. Всем большой привет. <laughs> Надеюсь, скоро увидимся. Скоро приеду в гости. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Julian Chua. I'm actually an amateur boxer. Um, I'm actually going to be fighting this Saturday, so in two days. Um, I'm also a strength and conditioning coach. I used to train Kabir, oh, wow. um, got him ready for a couple fights. Um, I train right now um, Wally Omotoso, uh, Latif Coyote, the prospects, the very good fighters. Um, Latif actually fought for a world title against Antonio Tarver uh, okay. not too long ago, so um, that's what I do on the side. Um, what are the dangers of fighting? Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of different things. I actually like um I actually dangerous you can't get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even get killed, you know. Sometimes yeah. sometimes So the, the what are the chances of getting killed? It happens all the time, right? And not all the time. The not all the time, but yeah. There are there are cases. Uh, one because of the box goes through the head then <laughs> Yeah, and you can get kind of disease just like me when I like do Whiplash and everything you with your neck. <laughs> your did you get a right? disease? No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so, but did you get a whiplash? Not a disease, but a neck problem, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a neck problem now? No, no, I'm okay. just kidding. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> well, they, okay, they, okay. they call it also uh, punchy. Like a lot of older fighters, men who have taken a lot of punches in the face, it, they develop speech problems and oh, wow. other things like that. It's That's common. Uh, when, what is the most she was asking about the danger what's the most common uh, uh damages that you get during fighting uh, boxing special definitely neural your brain taking punches is it muhammad face. ali right yeah he, yeah, beca he got uh, something like uh, low blows hurt too right yeah <laughs> well, do you know do you know what muhammad <laughs> ali uh, okay, has right so, now so so why i know it's it's a sport and it's exciting but why do it why do it yeah it's just it's just something you're kind of inside, inside you. Yeah, inside you want to do it. Born to do. Yeah, I mean, 
Is there a lot of money behind it? It's, there, it's, a, it's yes. kind of like a jackpot. It's okay. um, Because it's like I read somewhere 18, because we were searching it, and um, out of 18 sites, they got $618 million. So when you see $680 million, you're like, I can do this, right? Not everybody does Not that. Everybody, that's one, one in a while, believe me, weather. <laughs> no, no, but, but I mean, uh, you know, the, the, that's the drive the goal, to I it, think, too, right? right? Everybody yeah. sees that there is, a, there is a golden opportunity there to, to be a good fighter. And it's, it's very yeah. difficult. I mean, like um, the sport, if you're not, if you don't have that name and you don't have that, that um, pull, it's very hard to, to make a living off of it. I mean... And it's not, it's not it's just, not a, it's not it's just about difficult. the money. It's not just about the no, money. No, it's, it's a hobby. I mean, oh, people have a drive. They love it. They go yeah. after it, right? Because you have to love something to do it. It's yeah, not, you it's have not to love it. And how, many, how many hours do you exercise? Like every day, two times a day, in the morning, sparrings. One hour in the morning? No, minimum two hours, sometimes in the two and a half. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. two and a half hours in the morning and two and a half hours in the evening. In the evening, yeah. Mm -hmm. So five hours a day, every day. Except oh my Sunday. God, I have to Sunday translate that. Except Sunday, yeah. Ishon ke boxing mikonan, migan do saat o nim. Sob varzish mikonan, do saat o nim. Shab varzish mikonan. Pain saat varzish mikonan. That's not a joke, right? <laughs> but I have well, a question I'm, for you. Yeah. Were you a, when you were younger, were you the type of guy who was always getting into fights? Yeah, always. Okay. So this is the field you you're continuing. The <laughs> they continue what you were doing before. You enjoy it though. You enjoy fighting. You feel. Yeah, I love it. I love it. We, me and my twin brother, we always used to fight in school, in university, everywhere. So there Did is, you fight there each is other too? Oh, tell me the story about your twin brother because I love it. They, they uh, I'm going to say it and then you tell me what yeah. happened. The twin, he and his twin brother got into the last competition and because siblings, brother and sister, cannot, bro brothers cannot fight, you both got the award. Yeah. So your two brothers in Russia. Yeah, he's, he came back. Do you have Russia. other brothers other than? Two? Yeah, I have. Uh, what is the feeling of a twin brother or a regular brother? Is it closer? Yeah, it's very close. You always feel like uh, you're each other. Yeah, How we always feel each other. Yeah, <laughs> and it's fun. You know, you can sometimes switch with the girls. Nobody knows. Switch with the girls. <laughs> 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 and they can't tell, right? No, they can't tell. <laughs> Are you that close? Have you done that? Yeah, many times, of course. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you have? Yeah. What if they were, they were twin girls too? <laughs> then you would get in trouble. So you really have like switch girlfriends and, and they don't know who is who? Yeah, all the time. Wow. All the time. Wow. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and you got caught? No, never. Oh, wow. Well, you're on TV. Now they know. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to change one thing about your life, you know, what would it be? Change? No, nothing. Nothing. I wouldn't change that. Yeah. Okay. We're happy me? the way it is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Me neither. I'm Are you also from Russia? So no, no. I'm half Filipino, half Chinese, but born and raised here. So you're American. Yeah. yeah. American. American. Boxing All is American. from where? Where is boxing from? Which origin? Where's the origin? <laughs> origin. Yeah. Where did it come? Well, Probably from England, I think. I think so, it's yeah. English. They're, they're they English. I remember well, they used to fight just like yeah, this exactly, style. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to um, show the promo fight and come back. We, uh, I grew up in Thailand, and they have Muay Thai, Muay Thai boxing, which is huge, and it's mm. kind of like a gambling thing. Is that the one they also kick each other, too? Yeah, they kick each other, too. Do you guys kick each Sometimes other, too? Sometimes bite each other. Muay <laughs> Thai, I feel like, is more of the tough guy sport, where it's yeah. you take one to give one, whereas yeah. boxing is a sweet science, where... Um, you use your angles. If people want to come and see your boxing this Saturday, where would they go? Uh, pass it. Uh, it's next it's next week. I, I'm gonna have a title show, fight, yeah. an ABO, an ABA title show. Oh wow! When, when when and where exactly? Next week, Friday. It's gonna be in San Diego. San Diego. That's so nice. welcome, guys. <laughs> so well, all the San Diego people, you need to go see him. Yeah. So we go see some fighting. We're gonna go and see one of his videos um, and promo of what you have done. You also had seen some movies and stuff too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Next time we'll show that we have to bring you back. So we'll go see his promo reel and some of his pictures and come back. We're gonna come back with Tamara Henry and Risa Gray and then we're gonna go back and we're all gonna fight and then we can leave him alone to do some real fighting. Let's go and watch the video. Meeting video is your Negom Kony Babani guys. Thank you. Thank you. 
so amazing. What do you guys think? Oh, you well, let me tell you what. I went to the bathroom during the break and I looked into the mirror and I saw your necklace and I fell into the necklace and I fell in love with this necklace. Oh, the, I mean, thank it's just you, the way thank that. You, thank you. I love to dress you up for the red carpet. Right. Yeah. But those bling, guys bling. are amazing. Bling, bling. Thank you. I hope they come back. I hope like we get to do something fun with them. I hope so too. And I hope you guys come back to the show. You guys are just amazing, both of you. It's well, fun. I feel like you're part you. of the show already. All right. I know. It thank you fun, so much. Right? You're a wonderful host. Well, I feel like you. I'm so at home. I mean, right? Absolutely. This feels so natural. It feels oh, organic. Thank you. Well, you know what? It has to be. You have to be yourself. And that's what it is w with us right now, right? Yeah. Like it's reality. We found our frequency. Yes, 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 we did. <laughs> so now we're going to go back. What's your favorite sports? I like anything with young boys in short pants. Oh, okay. Can I say that out loud? <laughs> yes, boxers. <laughs> How about you? Um, I like the Olympics. The Olympics, that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, because anybody, if, anybody, anybody in particular? Yes, yeah. I'm in love with Blake Leaper. Go to blakeleaper.com. He is a track star. He's got a silver medal and a bronze medal. He's going back to Rio 2016. He's going to take home the gold. Okay, blakeleaper.com. We're going to bring our <laughs> guests, please. Are we ready to? We're going to leave them alone to, to please come in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <gasps> So we're gonna wear a little bit and we're gonna you have to turn around please. Okay. So you're gonna show us and you're gonna do a little thing. Do we have any music or anything or no? You guys can do it. Okay, so you gonna So you do this. Oh my god, this is blue. Do you have any other color? Uh, yeah, black. Oh, it looks yeah, like black. she doesn't have any because hands. Because it doesn't look like Check that. Check it out. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Do you have black? Can you, can you get some black? No, no, give me a black one, please. They have black fine. <laughs> they have black ones. Can, can we also take the camera a little back so we can show everybody just a little bit? Thank you so much. Don't wear blue on Samira's show, y'all. No blue, green, and purple. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be Make the invisible man or woman. <laughs> okay, so this is great. Do we have the other one? Oh, that's amazing. Velcro. What do you think about that? Now talk to me, Rita. Oh, yeah. you <laughs> whatever you say, Samira. <laughs> okay, so this is really fun. I love this. I don't know if I'm dressed for it, but um, so Bring two a little and a half hours bling, bling. of this, right? Well, yeah, what? It, it consists of uh, two and a half hours of this you're doing, right? Not just this. We can we exercise. Do, and we always do like kind of plyometric stuff. Mm. Like so, if I want to be a boxer something. tomorrow, what's the first thing I have to learn? You can't really turn into a box overnight. No, no. <laughs> but, 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 uh, I, I would think this, right? Yeah, protect yourself. That's the first thing I want to know. Protect yourself all the time. Yeah, protect yourself. Yeah. Protect all yourself. The time. Especially if so you guys show me, are pretty. You gotta so show me a little bit. Okay. And well, then you guys are gonna fight. I'm gonna step back. So I'm gonna leave. I want, I want him to show me, and then I'm go we're gonna leave you guys to do a demonstration, and okay. then we're gonna come back. Okay. Okay. But you have to punch the well, knees. Are you know? right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Right-handed. Don't okay. punch me, okay? I'm not going to. Right to. <laughs> if you're right-handed, you have to. If you're right-handed, you have to stay this way. Okay. Like this stance. Left foot in front. Okay. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yep, yeah, both hands up to your face because you want to protect. Okay. When you throw one when you throw one punch, the other punch is protecting the face, okay? So the first punch is the jab. Okay. And it's with your left hand. It's your weak hand. Okay. So oh, she wants to throw one over <laughs> yeah, my face. Okay. The jab is with this hand. Okay. And it's just a poker from point A to point B. Oh, oh that's watch out. <laughs> right right is, right to your face and you okay. want to bring this the punch right back to okay. your face because you don't want to leave it open. Okay. Are you ready? Yep, ready. <laughs> Okay. okay. This Punch is right here. Four. Boom. You yep. that shoes, right? Keep your right hand up. Yep. <laughs> this is yeah. shoes. Again. Just yep. Throw. That's it. There it is. There it hey, is. this is fun. Oh. But oh. remember, oh. Like, again, throw it. Boom. Oh. You see, you want to bring this this hand back to your Look, face. Okay. 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 So throw it. And if you bring it back to your face, okay. Okay. bring this one. Okay. Throw it. Bring bring it right back. Okay. No, that one. Okay. Okay. I'm good at this. So that one, see, and I can't do anything because okay. the hand's right there. So everybody try to protect themselves. One, two, three. Let's go. Mm. That's it. Right? Yep. That's it. Okay. One, two, okay. three. Go. Boom, oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, <laughs> okay yeah. we're ready for a pro fight. Baby. Let's okay. go. So now I'm going to leave contract. you guys alone to do a little uh, okay. demonstration, and then we're okay. going to come back. They're going to do a little demonstration and come back. I'm going to go home and tell my fiance, show my fiance what I learned today. Yeah. Do you want to do, do? Do you want to do one punch before we go? I'm taking this home with me. Do, do, <laughs> do you need this, or are you going to do that? 
This one. Okay. Do one punch and we'll go. When I'm done, he's going to be saying, yes, dear. <laughs> Do one punch, 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 punch. Here we go. Oh, where's right the? Okay. Boom. Yes. See, I honey? <laughs> I'm a pacifist. That's okay. <laughs> okay. So we guys going to leave you guys alone and come back. That was fun. All right. So most important punch in boxing is the jab because... Jab, jab, jab. And another punch is straight right. Straight right. And there is a combination. One, two, simple combination. One, two. And one, two, three. Left two. One, two, three. Okay. This is basic, basic combinations in boxing. Yeah, boxing is a lot more complicated than um, we can teach in a little segment, but. Um, fight, fight with each other a little bit. I want to see. Like one, one. <laughs> well, no, like, not real fighting, but just pretending. Well, like for for instance, like um, say you're you're boxing, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, well we'll talk about generating power. Generating power comes from the hips and the legs. You want to keep your body turned at an angle because you give your bot your opponent a small target. See, if you're here, you're very square. If you're here, you're more turned. You give them an angle. Exactly. Um, plus and you, you can generate. Own, and always you can. Twist your body when you punch. Yeah, it, it comes it from makes, the hips. It makes your punch a lot power, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot stronger, power. a lot yep. stronger. You twist your body and punch. Okay, so <laughs> it was. You're gonna fight for that belt. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> just I guess just shadow box throw. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You want to keep him. If I'm I'm the taller guy, he's the shorter man. So if I, I, my job is to keep him at bay. I want to keep him as far away at the end of my jab as possible so he can't get inside. His job is to move his head and get inside and, and get to me. So it smothers my, my attack and limits my range. So if, so his goal is to get inside, is get inside, get inside, see, and punch he's there, the body. I, it ruins my punches. But, if I, for, but my goal is to keep him back, back here. If I'm jabbing him from out Just here, right. yeah. I have him on the outside. I'm taller. I have the reach. I use my legs, and I keep my my jab out. <laughs> what the jab does is it sets up punches for your power hand. The jab, if you're, I'm right-handed, so my right hand's much stronger. So what I'm trying to do is keep him. I'm trying to keep him at bay, and when I throw the right hand, that's the power shot. I keep, I, I use this to distract him, keep him thinking, keep him off balance. Um, many uses for the jab, but that's a. Uh, Little little bit about Basic, boxing. Basics. Yeah. Basics of boxing. Let's finish it up. Here, one box and we go. You box. wanna punch some? You, you punch me. Punch oh! Let's do this. Yes, one minute you. and we go. Are you ready? Gentle. Don't box Gentle. me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did it. Okay. Yeah, you have to catch it just like that. Yeah. No, just catch it. You, do, you, you don't just punch. Stay you don't oh, punch okay. it. Stop. Yeah. That's good. Ouch. Hey, I can miss it. <laughs> And this one? You can't be a good coach, probably. Hey, I like this. I'm taking classes. Well, you're not supposed to be hitting him. Okay, I'm hitting you. Go, go. You can't give me classes. Okay, go, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. Go. One, two. Three. That's fun. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I found the new sport. Okay. And I can check out my angle, you guys. <laughs> this is fun. And it's a good sport, isn't it? Yes. What, yeah. what part of the muscles of the body is it good for? Well, it's total body control. It's like um, complete and brain. Yeah, mm -hmm. main, the main brain. Brain. It's about being <laughs> smart. Being if, smart. If you're Take a smart that brain, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. In ring, you have to think in the ring. That's the most important thing. Kabir, thank you so much for coming to Samir's show. Did you no, have fun? Okay. Yes. Yeah, sure. It was fun? Good, good, yeah, good. Yeah. Did I box you enough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for no showing problem. us. No problem. And um, I mean, I'm sure people would, you know, love to, to bring you on and, and keep in touch. So thank you for coming. We'll, we'll definitely send you all the info. Rita Gray, you have to come back. And Tamara, you're part of Samir's show. Mwah. You guys, thank you. And the, the show is going to repeat bye. tonight at 9 o'clock and the weekends, I think. So, and then don't forget to come watch back now, you hear? Yay, it's Amira Show. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Till next week. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.